I wish to say thank you very much to all of you for being here today, particularly to you, my children. I have come to realize that I'm getting older. And I came to realize that by referring to you as my children. I've lived in a wheelchair for 26 years now, Bandabam. And one of the greatest lessons that I learned was that there are children who are doing it even much better. You achieved your 100% and I always wish to achieve mine every single day. Yan Tanda Bandabam. And I decided to celebrate this day with you. Today is not so much about launching the book, but me sitting with stars. To all others that are here today, I've known you for years, and I want to say thank you. When I was paralyzed in 1995, I was horrified. Number one, I did not know anybody with a disability that I could relate to. I did not even know that there were children with disabilities because I was living in a world that was blind of disability. But in 26 years, what you have taught me, what all of you have done for me to push me this far, amazing. Starting with the open air for showing me what it disability as a generation that is growing that should take leadership tomorrow. Nafisa Mayat for taking my first book to Africa and into the world of the academics. Today I have my book prescribed for AMA students Pandabam for post degree level. Lydia for always being positive on social media and today you are here with me ma, reminding me of some of the motivational speeches that I'd forgotten that motivated you before. Ruben Mzila and your children this gentleman is the one that framed that picture, that artwork. It's not the first one that he has framed. Ruben has been framing it with me since 2004. Wait, Bambo, my caregiver. That's what they call you, you're my brother. If it were not for your push, I would not have walked this mile. Alan Tate, a man that I met by chance. I've always done things without thinking twice. I announced in Johannesburg that I was going to be launching a book and I did not even have catering. Someone said, phone Alan Tate. I phoned this gentleman. Today he is my manager and a very good friend. Carol could see. I first met this lady in 2006 or 2008. Today people respect me for giving bursaries to these children to go to school. It was Carol could see. That was the principal funder until we closed in 2008. But Dabam, you know me for staging Amat Disability Expos. It was Carol Kosia that said, sit with me and tell me about this mobilization of people with disabilities. And today that program still stands and has taken some of you who have passed my trip straight to university or to employment. Sir, I've known you for life taking care of these children. And to be with me today, sending these children to support me in my flight. Thank you very much. Moodley. I have yet to come across a man so well positioned. There's never been a, a, a school for children with disabilities in South Africa that is a hundred years. And to be a principal at that point in time, sir, it means life has chosen you in many ways. Grand Adlam, I can never say thank you enough. To have a person that I can sit down with sometimes and simply dream and make it possible is probably the greatest blessings of my life. And Abam, let me tell you something. There is one thing that disability taught me. It taught me that if you can do things differently and you are a person with a disability, people take notice. I decided to fly today because the school's name is Open Air. I'm an opportunist, Minamandabam. <laughs> Any given opportunity I will take. The title of the book is I'm Art. Let me tell you something, all of you. The book is still not finished in terms of layout and design. But the book is here today. Because a dummy has been created that all children who say open air are going to be signing. That book belongs to open air. 
but that book is going to be received by yourselves. At half past 11 today, the Deputy Minister in the Presidency is going to be calling to talk to you, Mandabang, and congratulate you. But do not only let her congratulate you, make her understand exactly who you are. It's going to be in the questions that you ask, it's also going to be in the contributions to the conversation. Now let me tell you something about people with disabilities and, I've, and how I've come to receive them over the 26 years. Those who are the best do not necessarily have questions. So don't ask that lady too much, too many questions. Instead, tell her what she has to know. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Mina, what I'll be telling her that she has to know. That if open air is a hundred years this year, we can easily have in that booklet that I gave you a hundred thousand signatures. Let's see how South, South Africa celebrates you. And in celebrating you, South Africa is going to be demonstrating its maturity. I'm not at Mina Mandabang. You are at. Thank you.